cocaine. Okay, so today I'm just going to go over uh, this little cool text animation effect that uh, I did that you could put at the beginning of your videos. So if you check it out, it's right here. Right there, it just moves, um, opens up, it's got bars on the side and text in the middle. <coughs> so first thing you want to do is go into After Effects, go to Composition, New Comp. Um, you want to title it, so I'm going to title it Intro. Perfect, you can set your width, your height, whatever you want, but I prefer 1280 by 720 that's what uh, my usual videos are. Uh, frame rate 60, uh, hit OK. So the first thing you want to do is go up here to the rectangle tool. Now if it's not already right there, press on this, and now you can go over and select it right there. So from there, click and drag down. You want a skinny, um, pretty skinny, pretty short line probably somewhere around here. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can adjust it later. Um, now, this is my keyboard, and if I go up here, I'm gonna center that the best that I really can, somewhere around there. And um, click on the rectangle right here, click on fill, change the fill, you can change the color, make it white, hit okay. And from here, here's where you can scale it and fix it up if you don't like it. So first of all, hit this little chain right here, and you can scale it different ways. So I'm going to make it a little bit more thin, just like that. And then from there, I'll make it a little bit taller, somewhere around there. OK. So uh, set a keyframe, and move that down a bit. Now set. Um, Set another key from here, and you want to change this all the way down to zero. The second one, the Y values. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of this off, so I'm gonna set that to like uh, 40. So now it's just gonna grow just like that. Now obviously that's pretty slow, so I'm gonna move that closer together. And there you go. That's kind of the start of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go click a keyframe, make sure it highlights blue, and I'm going to go under the graph editor. So here it's already, it looks pretty confusing, but it's pretty simple. So highlight this, uh, hold command or control on your keyboard, then highlight this one down here. And uh, go over here to easy ease, click on that. So that's just going to make it a little bit smoother. Just like that. And you can move these keyframes to uh, fast or slow or whatever you want. So once we got that, we're going to click on the P on your keyboard to open up position. You're going to keyframe uh, the first part. Uh, hit U, um, C, everything else, scale. <clears throat> so we're going to go over to this keyframe right here. And right when it gets to about that keyframe all the way, we are going to hit P on your keyboard. And we're going to move over few seconds and we're gonna uh, actually first thing you want to do is duplicate this right now um, so command D so go to your bottom layer the first one and change the position move it over uh, quite a ways this really depends on how long you want your logo or your name to be so I'm gonna move it um, about right here and I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna try to move that uh, the same distance so it looks pretty even. Um, right about there, it looks pretty good. Okay. So from here, uh, you got two keyframes. Now uh, that's just gonna spread out. So so that looks good. We want these a little bit closer together. And I'm gonna go easy ease on both of these. So I'm gonna go here. Select this keyframe and this one. You can just highlight. Alright, now go right here, easy ease. And same thing, go back out. Do the same thing right here. Easy ease. And that'll just make it look a lot smoother when it's spreading out like that. Again, you could just play with the timing, so I'm going to move these a little bit further out. Whatever you want. Um, that looks about good right there. 
So we're going to select these. We're going to hit um, Command C. I'm going to go over here. Go about right there. Oops. Take this one. Just move a few key, a uh, few spaces over. Command V. So that's going to leave a little gap in time, so they can read it. Um, go over here now. Uh, take the keyframes over here. Command C on this position. Command V. Uh, Command C over here and Command V. So it should be right back there. Um, <coughs> again, I think these should already be uh, yeah easy ease. So it's uh, basically that's pretty much it so far. So opens up, spreads out, and closes. So I'm gonna take everything and I'm gonna move them a little close together. It's a little slow. Again, you just have to play with the timing and find something that you like. This might be too fast, but we'll see. That's like perfect. I'm going to move these um, a little bit closer together here. So probably like one, two, three. I'm going to move them three apart from each other and make sure they're centered right there. That looks pretty good so far. And I want them to close a little bit faster. Just like that. Okay, that looks pretty good so far. <laughs> now, here's where you need to uh, add your text in. That looks pretty good. Put these close together. Put these over here a little bit more. Okay, so that should be good. Now, um, we're going to go to the end right here. We're going to take that scale, uh, set a keyframe here, remove that a little bit inside there. Take the first keyframe for the scale, set it about right here, and you're going to do the same thing for the top. Let's go right about here. Take that and move that right about there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so just like that, um, it'll open, slide out. Oh, dang, the size has definitely changed there. Hold on. That's why. Okay, so they're going to come back and connect together and close, just like that. So you can go back and watch that if that was a little too fast. Um, here's where we're going to add the text in, so go ahead and uh, take the text. Put that right in the middle. I'm going to title this uh, Arkin, just like that. And I'm going to set that right about here. So it's centered. Go to the middle where it's fully opened, just like that. Now that's a little too uh, spread out. So I'm going to go ahead and close that in a little bit. Move that over so it's centered. So right about there, that looks pretty good to me. <coughs> So here's how we add uh, the borders closing. Now I'm sure, as I've said, there's easier ways to do this, but um, I like taking the long way sometimes. So we're going to go under the mask tool right here. And I'm going to go to where it's wide open. And I'm going to set a keyframe here. So I'm going to make um, a big rectangle um, around the borders just like this here, up through there, and all the way around. Zoom in. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna hit I'm on my keyboard for mass path. I'm gonna copy that and move that over to here. Now I'm gonna go to um the first frame where it's all the way open. Or actually I'm gonna go to right before it hits one of the letters. So like right here. I'm gonna take the mask and I'm gonna move that in to right here right here we're gonna line that up just like that and it's gonna be a pain that's not it uh, you gotta keep adding it so it's um, 
so it's even right there looks good keep going right here it's starting to fall off so go ahead move those reposition those um, back on there perfect and keep going right about here Perfect, okay. Okay, so that looks pretty good so far. <clears throat> so that's how it's gonna open just like that. Now you can feather this mask, but I wouldn't go much. I would go like three. So just like that. That looks pretty good so far. So um, now you have to do the same exact thing going back. So right when it hits here, Go ahead and move this back over to here and do the same thing until it's completely closed. And the more FPS uh, frames per second you have this on when you uh, made your first composition, um, the, the longer this will take. Oops. So uh, right there, that's basically it. Um, so that's what it looks like right there. So uh, we're going to add a few things to this uh, to make this look a little bit better. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to close all these layers, um, select all of them, go uh, layer, pre-compose, and uh, move all attributes into a new composition. Uh, we're going to call this a uh, logo. So from here we're going to add on some RSMB. Actually, let's make a new um, adjustment layer. If you don't have this plugin, you should really get it. I'm going to add in uh, my own. So we have some blur here. I want to turn uh, this down to actually 80 is pretty good. And then it should be good. Let's check that out. See, so yeah, right there, those settings are uh, pretty good for this. Um, so the next thing I want to add is some flicker uh, that I believe is from Sapphire, um, Sapphire plugin. So turn up the amplitude, turn on that up a lot, quite a bit. Somewhere around there, and we'll turn that on. Actually, put this on. So that adds um, some motion blur and some flicker that'll make it look a little bit better. So again, you can play with the timing and stuff. And um, I didn't do this in mine, but I've done it in uh, some other logos uh, that I've done. Is I'm gonna add in um, an image. So I'm gonna make um, like a galaxy. So let's see. Um, load, load. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to select some of these and figure out which one I think will be best. Um, so I'm thinking this one right here. So I want to add in uh, that galaxy right there. Scale that down a bit. To right above there. Now I'm going to put this underneath... Um, the logo and I'm gonna go um, so basically that turns uh, the logo into a uh, galaxy instead of just plain white if you want so it'll look like that and then you can change the scale so it just fits around um, around the text boom scale that in a little bit more so just like that, now um, add some glow, and you can turn that up, play with those settings. Somewhere around there, and it gives you uh, that kind of look right there, so it will open up, spread out. That's just another thing that you can do. I think that looks uh, pretty cool. So I'm going to render out with that. But if you don't want that, go ahead and just turn that off. And Oh, my bad. Let's go ahead and leave that on. 
and um, that's what you're going to render. So um, how you render this with a transparent background so you don't have to add this composition into every single one of your projects. Um, I'm going to render out the galaxy. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead, hit um, right here. There's a little transparency, toggle transparency. So just like that. And I'm going to go to the very end of here once it's all the way closed. So like, it's right about there. I'm going to hit add on my keyboard and right there. So there you go. It's going to open, spread out close back in and it's going to go down so now to render this um, there's something uh, you need to do a little bit different so go ahead uh, file go export add to render kq uh, go under lossless and change the channel to uh, RGB and alpha it's a little bit different than uh, you normally would uh, hit ok and I'm going to change this to um, Galaxy intro. Arkham. Okay. Save and uh, you're good to render and um, see what that looks like, and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, let's uh, check it out, see what it looks like. So if I hit play, it's going to open, spread, and close. So I think I did that a little bit fast. So as you can see, you can't really see the forward Arkham for a long period of time. So uh, what I would do to uh, change that up a little bit real fast is, let me okay, open this comp, I'll go under these two, back down here, and I'll spread these out a little bit more, just like that, and uh, that should be fine, but otherwise I think that, that, uh, that looked pretty good, um, just like that. And so from there, it's transparent, so you should be able to just add that on to uh, any one of your videos that you want in the beginning. And um, that's basically it for me. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll, do, uh, I'll make more of these in the future, but uh, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.